Okay, so I've got a few things to talk about today actually. There's a one contract extension and three possible targets. So the contract extension is Jeffrey Schlup. Apparently he has just agreed a, a deal to the end of 2023, which is similar to those of uh, Jordan Ayew, Nathaniel Klein and James MacArthur and James Tompkins. So it looks like they are looking to keep hold of at least some of the uh, older players, some of the more experienced players, shall we say, uh, for a little bit longer. I mean, Schlup, I think, played quite well when he came on. He didn't have play that, you know, every game, but the games when he came on, I think he played well. I think he created chances. He linked up well with other players. So I think he's a good, it's a good asset for him to have, you know, to stay, to stay with the club. So that um, he, you know, even if he's just used as a backup, I think he'll be good to uh, to have in the squad. So that would be good. So he's signed an extension to his contract until the end of 2023. Next up is apparently an agreement of a proposal. I don't know what's happened to that one. That one's gone. <laughs> an agreement to the proposal of uh, Czech Ducure. So he uh, has apparently agreed terms with Crystal Palace. It's just looking at um, looking at arranging a fee with Lons. So that's something that's been developing over the last couple of weeks. And it looks like now they have agreed terms. It's just a case now of agreeing a fee with the club. So hopefully within the next few days, maybe next week, he will uh, be officially rolled out as one of our first signings, which will be fantastic. And I know this is someone who Vieira, uh, at least you know, on in the uh, in the news, uh, it's been told that Vieira is very keen on getting him. So the fact that we've managed to get him is uh, a great scoop for the club, and hopefully he will do well. Next up is a suggestion that Crystal Palace could be interested in Harry Winks. Now, um, it believes that Crystal Palace could be interested in signing Harry Winks from Tottenham Hotspur this summer. Um, he will be leaving Spurs in the coming months and struggle to hold down a spot in the side under a number of managers, including Antonio Conte. His most recent 90 minute appearance in the Premier League came back in February. Now, Wings is okay. I think he's played well in the past. I don't know whether he would be um, a good fit for us in, in there, but um, we'll have to wait and see. He is one of those ones that uh, is in the frame, as, a, as are many other people. But um, it could be that he is um, a backup for some of the midfield players that we have, or it could be that he will be uh, maybe a replacement for Conor Gallagher. We don't, we're not entirely sure, but it looks like um, reports are claiming that Tottenham will need to take as little as 15 million for links. And um, you'll imagine that a number of Premier League sides will want the England, England international. Well, yes, of course you are. I mean, you, you know, you're going to have Everton, Aston Villa, West Ham. I probably will be going after him, I would think. So, uh, you know, we are a London club, so that might sway him to come to us. We'll have to wait and see. But let me know what you think in the comments about Harry Winks. Last of all, Bamba Ding, or Ding, is, um, is at Marseille. And apparently Crystal Palace are interested in bringing him to the club. So um, they're keen to sign the 22-year-old in January, while West Ham expressed an interest in the Senegal International. We didn't get him in January, but it looks like we are... Um, looking to sign him this time. Uh, Newcastle, of course, have made contact with him. And um, he eventually stayed in France and scored eight goals in 36 appearances across all competitions last season. Uh, he scored two goals in five outings of the African Cup of Nations. And uh, Petro Vieira wants the Marseille number 12 at Selhurst Park. Well, I mean, you know, it's a possibility. You know, there are a lot of um, people that we are interested in. So I don't know whether we're going to be signing all of them. But I'm sure that he is probably on the radar along with a number of other players that we've got uh, got our eye on. So let me know in the comments what you think about all of these players and the decision to keep Schlupp on until 2023. I'd love to hear your, uh, your views on that. And also, of course, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you later.